YouTube Live and live streaming is a great way to grow your viewers and to grow your subscribers when you're building a channel on YouTube. But getting people to show up is the hardest part unless you repurpose your live stream videos. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly repurpose your live streams so that more people can hear about your channel, they'll come to visit you, they'll subscribe, and your channel will grow faster. Let's go, baby! It's Owen Video. Owen Video! Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Owen Video, and on this channel, you will get tons of videos and tutorials on how to grow a profitable YouTube channel. So what the hell? Click the bell and subscribe to the show. Today we're talking about repurposing your live streams and what that means is actually taking little bits and pieces from your live stream and then either using them as YouTube videos or sharing them as mini previews or trailer videos on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, or wherever else you happen to be active. So today I'm gonna run you through a process that I have been using for years to repurpose my live stream shows. And the key here, the trick, the thing I want you to really pay attention to is that it's not just about what you do after the live stream, it's actually what you do during the live stream that will make these clips more reusable. So let's get started with today's training. My first tip for you today is that you need to make smaller clips. It's never a good idea, sir or madam, to take your whole hour long live stream and then upload it all willy nilly like a drunk person onto Facebook. No, what you wanna do is make smaller clips, make 90 second, at the most three minute clips and use those on the other social media platforms. Now, in order to do that, you have to download your live stream and watch the whole dang thing and that's not an effective use of your time. So instead, what I wanna teach you how to do right now is how to annotate your live streams so that while you're live and you're like thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, that was really good, I should use that in a, in a mini clip, then what you can do is you can annotate your live stream so that when the live stream's over, you can quickly just scrub back through it and find the clips that you wanna use. Let me show you how to do that. First of all, you have to use restream.io. Now, I use Restream to go live on YouTube, but I can also multi-stream onto LinkedIn, Twitch, and Facebook at the same time. And I have the ability to upload custom graphics over here on the right-hand side. So you see where it says overlay, right? They give you a bunch of these overlay graphics that, that you can use, but you can also create your own. And what you need to do in order to annotate your live streams is to create a custom graphic that says something like, wow, what a good point, or bravo, or that was brilliant. And so while you're doing your live stream and you're, you're talking with your audience and maybe you're showing a screen share or maybe even interviewing a guest and a good point comes up, you wanna be able to click that button right there so that your annotation pops up and it says, wow, what a good point. So now, when your live stream is over, you can simply scrub past through the recording and look for places where this lower third pops up or where this annotation pops up. Now keep in mind, you don't have to keep it up the whole time. Just keep it up for 10 seconds. And then when you go back and edit the video, you can decide how long you want that clip to last. So now that you have a live stream completed and you have multiple spots annotated for repurposing, what it's time to do now is to take that live stream and to make it look really good for Instagram, LinkedIn, or Facebook, or any of the other programs that you might wanna use. Now to do that, I wanna introduce you to my repurposer, a guy named Joe Hankel. Joe actually repurposes all of our videos and I'm gonna have him walk you through the rest of the process. Thanks, Owen. So I'm gonna show you how to add these finishing touches using Premiere Pro or any other editing software you use. Really, the only requirement is that it has the text effect that you can add captions. So let's get into it. So here we are in the editing software. The trick here is to find about 90 seconds. You can do up to five, a five minute clip, but it's gonna be harder to edit if it's longer and it won't get as many views on social media if it's too long. So we wanna find that clip that's about one to two minutes. So after we have this clip edited down, we want to find the hook. 
So this is a great place to start the video. We're gonna copy it. We're gonna paste it at the beginning. And the hook will be in your video twice, at the beginning and where it originally was. So this video that we just edited is still in widescreen and it's a bunch of clips. So we're gonna export it into one clip. So now we wanna create a new project or sequence and we're gonna set it to custom 1080 by 1080. So it will be a square video. And then we're going to drop that clip we just exported into this new sequence and scale this clip down so it's a square video with room on top and on the bottom. Now add your transition in the video. This is gonna be right after the hook. We have an audio transition and a video transition. And then we're going to make this look right in line with our video here. So now right after the hook, we have this nice transition. Next, you're gonna to wanna to create a background for our video. You can create that in Premiere or Photoshop. I like to use Canva and here you see this nice background that I created. Then you're gonna add an attention grabbing headline that should be on the top of the canvas. This headline should be two lines at most and it should be really attention grabbing. Here's a phrase that I used here for our video. Now we're back in Premiere and I'm gonna drop this image that we just created underneath our clip. So look at that. And then either type out your captions or if you have the CRT file for them, you can drop them in right here. I put the captions down here and I made them look real nice and go with our design. If you have an outro, you can throw it in at the end. Now you have this epic engaging video for your social media. You can see more of these examples of Owen's repurposed videos on his Instagram channel. Thanks, Joe. Not only do you do a great job repurposing our videos, but you have an awesome spoken word channel. And we'll be sure to put a link to that in the description box below so that our fans can check you out. And that, my friends, is how you repurpose your live stream videos. Now, if you're not already using Restream to go live on YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook, I highly recommend that you download a free trial and get started today. If you use the link that's in the description box, you actually get a 30% discount on the program and it's, it's already very affordable. So I would recommend that you give it a shot. And if you have any questions, ask me in the comment section below. That's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the training. And if you wanna learn more about how to use YouTube Live to grow your channel, watch this video right here about collaborations with YouTube Live and I will show you the fastest way to get views and new subscribers on your channel using YouTube Live. So go check it out right now. I'm Owen Video and I'll see you there.